Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying another killer saltwater bait fish fly for you. This is uh, a single flat wing. As always, uh, there'll be materials listed in the description, along with a link to social media and the Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel uh, and be eligible for future giveaways. I'd be really appreciate it. Especially if you've been asking me to tie little small trout flies because I'm going to need to buy a new lens in order to film them suitably. Um, <clears throat> so, I think I've got devices on S10S 4H Gamakatsu. Really good hook, nice and strong, but anything you like, something shortish in the shank, your preferred model. Got to start some monofilaments red. Coat the entire shank. I'm going to take the thread right to just about the start of the bend, which when this hook is sort of between the point and the bar barb. Then I'm going to tie in the tail support, so it makes part of the belly of the fly. And it's just white bucktail. Obviously, colours up to you, but I mean, if you're trying this sort of olive and white, kind of standard sand dealy bait fish type thing, you know, just match the forage where you live. Or you could tie them bright. Electric chickens are good, a good combo as well. Sort of lined the tip slightly there, just to see. I want a couple of hook lengths. So about there. And I'll take a loose wrap at first, and then I'm going to tighten as I wind forward. And that helps prevent the bucktail from flaring too much. Now to help get a decent taper in the body, I'm going to cut my butt ends at an angle. Any that I miss, I'm just going to come in and tidy them up. Come back and I'll take a sort of loose collecting wrap at the back there, just with minimal pressure, as little as I can get away with it, it's been slack. And that just helps gather the bucktail a bit more. And then, simply a case of gradually going down over this, nice and tight. Touching turns a thread as best you can. Be a nice smooth underbody. Now it's obviously still going to be thicker at the butt end, but it does help you build the taper. Take my thread back to the the tie in point at the bucktail. I'll get my, my flat wing feather. This saddles, this is a saddle I'm using. I got it from Sam at Irish Fly, Fly Supplies. It's a really nice, really nice saddle. Reasonably priced as well. Sam's stuff's pretty good and he will, um, he will die, if he doesn't have the colour you're looking for, he'll generally, he can dye it to suit for you. Um, Although I dye some of my own stuff as well, but this stuff's very good. So I've taken my feather and I've ripped off some of the fluff and I've dubbed it onto my thread, maybe just about an inch, no a huge amount. But I lift my thread to the top and push that down. You'll end up with like a big sort of puffer, the marabou thread, marabou stuff for the bottom of the fibre. 
just leave that, don't tie over it as yet. I'm going to take my, my hackle, I'm going to lay it on top of this sort of cushion. Right, this helps look, prevent it twisting once you get it set. I've got it maybe a little bit the 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock position towards me as I tie over them and I tighten. The thread torque will pull the feather across on top. It should be lying pretty flat already. Right, but you can adjust it. Right. Make sure it's sitting. Take another couple of wraps back. Loose wraps so you can still adjust it, get it sitting how you like. You can see there, I've got that sitting exactly flat on top of the shank. And now I'm just going to tighten up over the back there yeah. if you've got a wee bit too much of that fuzz you can just take it away but it would never be seen trim the stock the length of the body now we're ready for some flash this is a uh, sparkle hair from Sibai that I'm using, it's really nice stuff. It's sort of got a flat, crinkly flash about with you know, an island filament around it and mixed with some straight flash about. Really nice. This is the silver and pearl blend. Wait, set that in. Longest fibres, just about the length of the Olive hackle feather. Tie it down. Fold it back. Then when I'm about three thread wraps in front of the tie-in point, I'll snip it off and I can keep going back. And that's that nice and tidy. Then I'll just run my thread down to the front. And that's the, that's the back end done. I mean, this would make a nice enough wee sandy limitation on its own nearly. Um, so I'm going to take some body braid. Up to you. So you could use silver. I'm using pearl. Um, you know, just, again, sort of match it to the colour. And uh, the overall. I'm going to put a heavy layer of head cement over this. Now, if I was using just a flat tinsel, I would use super glue. Because um, head cement isn't actually adhesive, but it is cohesive. So, what happens here is I wind through and the head cement actually squeezes into the braid wind all the way back then come to the front again and you might see wee bits of head cement squeezing through that's fine your thread a few wraps is plenty try that off just go out and wipe that excess away right so that, that this really toughens it up the head cement's like right in the braid and it's like all gripped together as one unit I'll invert it at this stage and I'll tie in the belly which is a bit more white bucktail. And I want this coming about half the length of the the tail there, so it sort of blends in as a belly. The taper will blend in quite nice. So catch that in, nice tight wraps. Because you're using the nylon thread, you need to use a few. Make sure it's 
certain how you like it. That's not bad. Turn the box close. Now, for a wee bit of durability, get the super glue. Just touch the butt ends there. And then I'll take my thread to the front and tie back into the cut ends. That same tied in very solidly, they're never going anywhere. Just use your thumb to take away any excess. Bucktail, uh, glue, sorry, any excess glue. Now, quite often I see, you see flat wings tied with the flash here. Uh, obviously I've done it at the tail. The reason being, I, f I find it fills a lot more if it's tied at the front of the hook. So it's just going to be the bucktail then the peacock at the front here. So, olive bucktail to match the... to match the saddle hackle and it's at a similar length, maybe slightly longer than the belly fibre coming towards the into the tail there towards the length of the tail but not as long as the, the tail the bucktail section of the tail I should say just get that tied on top you can pull it up make sure it's Nice, you want it to sort of sort of you want it to marry to the the white giving you a nice clean form. Trim away the waist. And the same again. Especially with this nylon thread, or if you were using GSP, a wee bit of super glue. Come to the front, tie back into the butt ends. Bomb proof. That really grips that bucktail, gets it in there. Now, the topping. I'm going to grab a few nice long peacock fibres, peacock heralds. Four or five is plenty. I want that coming back to the longest one, I want them all sort of slightly different lengths and the longest one will be about the same length as the hackle feather. Nice tight wraps. Let's trim that away. The hair was quite grippy, it will no slip. And then, if you want just a gentle curve with your scissors just to encourage it into the to curve into the form of the fly to get that sort of bait fish shape and the last thing is the eyes um, usually folk use jungle cock but I'm using this stuff, it's the Sibai artificial it's really nice actually um, super consistent obviously compared to real jungle cock but I mean, it's up to yourself. I, I do use both. Just check the length. It's fine. And then, that's the fly basically done. 
just a case of whip finishing. So you got a neat head. Pull the whip nice and tight, let the thread relax. Um, this is something I know a lot of folks sometimes, especially beginners, they struggle with the monofilament thread because there's a bit of sort of recoil in it. Pull the knot really tight and let it relax, and then you can come in and trim away your, your tag end, trim away your thread when it's not under that much tension and it won't slip. Just got a wee bit of bucktail in the eye there. Just a loose feather, it must have been a fibre, it must have been on my finger. And there we go. And to make a super tough head, coat super glue. And then just take the excess off, that will dry it. And then I'll we'll come in with some head cement. You got a nice top coat. I've written seal then. Don't need to worry about the super glue blooming and going white in the salt water. But there you go. That there is a single flat wing. Really, really effective fly. Looks great in the water. Um, full of movement. Now, you might, if you like, um, you can see that this version's got a slightly more streamlined shape. The only difference is I've done the same as you do with a bucktail deceiver. I've dipped it in, in, in cold water, run it under a cold tap and then I've allowed it to uh, to dry, hang. I've allowed it to hang to dry. So I hope that was useful for you. hope you enjoyed it. I missed a wee bit of my cement there. Um, if it was, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, like the video, share the video, all that kind of stuff. Tight lines, guys. Bye.